Let's take a look at entering data in Logbook Pro Mobile. Here we are on the home screen. You can see we have four sections for data entry. Your certificates, your ratings, your history, which is anything with an expiration date, whether it's a flight review, medical, etc. And then where you'll spend most of your time is in the flights area. Well, let's take a look at the simplest form, uh, the ratings. Uh, it's, it's the uh, simplest example, rather. But all of the uh, data entry forms, data entry areas, have the same layout. The uh, bottom left is a trash can, uh, which you can tap, and you will be prompted with purge options, such as purging sync data or deleting all the data, uh, deleting unsync data, whichever you want. But you'll get a, a prompt on what you want to actually delete. Once data is synced, it serves no purpose on the device. So once it is verified within your Lava Pro Desktop Master Database, uh, it is recommended to go ahead and purge the data off the device, keep it running uh, uh, lightweight, fast, and, and reliable for you. The bottom center is a filter, so you can actually tap and, and uh, choose whether you want to show all data, your unsynced data, or your synced data. And on the bottom right is your familiar iOS uh, Plus to add a new item. So let's go ahead and tap the plus. And you can see we we'll get a uh, entry screen so you can edit in line. There's no reason, reason to go back and forth uh, through most of the entry. So we're just going to uh, do a test rating. You can choose the date if it was other than today. Uh, and if you are on a different date, um, you can actually tap this little blue clock uh, to go to today. So that's like a now button, if you will. And if you want to enter any remarks, you can do so. And then tap Save on the top right. Uh, such as in the remarks to save your edits or just tap back to go back without committing any of those changes. So maybe you type something in by accident. The If you have calendar integration enabled in the settings calendar area, you will see the bypass calendar option. If you make an entry and calendar integration is enabled and you when you tap save on July 24, 2014, the test rating will go into your calendar as an event. Now, if you don't want that to happen, you can bypass the calendar, and when you tap Save, it will not go into your calendar. The same logic applies to synchronized, the synchronized checkbox. When you tap Save, it's going to <clears throat> mark it as black, uh, which means it's uh, unsynced, and the next time you sync, it will go to the cloud and dim gray. So there we have it unsynced. Now let's say you want to enter something and you don't want it to go to the cloud. It's already in your your PC database, your logbook, but uh, you want to go ahead and duplicate it and have it available to you on your device. In this case you would enter the rating or the data item. The rating is just an example here. Go ahead and check synchronized which as the description below reads, it prevents from sending it to the cloud. You tap save, it's already going to be marked as synced. So when you sync, it will not go to the cloud. So the other data areas, certificates are pretty much the same. The history, let's go ahead and add a history item, such as a biennial flight review, uh, when it was accomplished. Let's say I did it yesterday. And then you can tap the calculator button at any time, and it will actually calculate based off of your rules that are defined in options history within Lava Pro Desktop. So you can set up all of the rules, whether it's an end of month expiration, uh, how many months uh, from the accomplished date, etc. So if we tap the calculator, it actually will uh, automatically calculate based off of your accomplished date. So you can add it to your remarks or add any remarks that you want. And in this case, we'll, we'll go ahead and bypass the calendar. Um, one thing with the calendar with history items is you'll get an entry for when it was accomplished and you also get an entry for when it's due and with a reminder uh, if you have reminders enabled in settings calendar. So there's your history item and you can see you get a nice uh, presentation here of uh, blue is when it was accomplished, green is that it's in the future. All right, so you you know it's not expired. Uh, if 731-2016 were in the past, it would show as red. So you'll get color indications to help you out. Now let's take a quick look at the main area you'll be in, which is the, the flights area. We have a listing of flights, and you can see some color codes here. The main one I want to point out to you is red, 
means pending flights or future flights, flights not yet flown. And then we have our gray and black. Gray means synced. If that was black, it's at the top now. Or There we go. It scrolls to the top for you for the item you just edited. So black means synced. Gray, I'm sorry, black means not synced. Gray means synced. Red means pending. So you can see you have some uh, information uh, about the flight, such as your uh, uh, out and in times, the flight number for the airline pilots. These are scheduled imported trips versus this one is a, uh, a manually entered trip. So let's just go ahead and uh, change the type. We have a date. Uh, so let's go, let's go create a, a brand new flight log entry. So if just as in the other area, you can uh, change the date to when you flew or hit the blue clock for now. Uh, pick your type from the list. Enter your ident. You can see that it's all it's remembering the last information that was entered, and it's bringing that forward because in settings flight log I have the recall or the new flight auto populate information. Uh, it knows my last destination, so it's going to enter that for me as the uh, starting point for my next flight. Uh, and then we have a, a uh, this button that is uh, seen in several areas in the app. When you tap that, it will automatically find the nearest airport to your location and enter that into this uh, into the route field. So if you're at the airport and you're making your flight log entry, uh, for example, if this was actually blank and you want to say, hey, I'm at the airport, let me just go ahead and tap that and it will immediately uh, put the, uh, the uh, code in for you. Or you can go ahead and uh, enter your route in Log Pro. You can enter uh, an entire day in one flight log entry. Uh, and then you just set the legs to the number of flights. So here we've got um, uh, MIA to TPA and then TPA to RIC, which is two legs flown for the day. So we'll do a day landing and a night landing. Uh, the time calculator is discussed in another video. For those of you that are flying multiple legs and you have multiple takeoff and landing times or out and in times, whichever you, you use for your flight times, uh, you can actually add up and transfer those in. Um, we actually have some fields uh, missing here, so let's, uh, from a prior video, let me turn those on so we can see everything. So we're going to go to settings, flight log, config display. We have some columns that are turned off. From the prior video, showing how you can customize your layout. So let's go back into our flight log entry. And now you can see that... Uh, if we wanted to enter out and in times, take off and landing times, whichever you may log, uh, what I wanted to demonstrate here is that you can tap the calculator button and it will automatically calculate the duration for you between your out and in or take off and land. And uh, if you log all four out, take off, land, and in, you can determine what the calculation is used for within the settings and flight log. For example, you can set give me duration based off of takeoff and land or give me duration based off of out and in depending on what you log, how you log your flights and you can see the time zone setting and if you take a look at these settings time zone video uh, you can see uh, learn more about time zone options in Lobbert Pro Mobile. This little button to the right across country SIC dual etc. Uh, the X is obviously going to clear the value uh, but if you tap this little button here it's going to automatically enter duration for you so uh, you can quickly uh, log flight times. Approaches, and go ahead and uh, log what you uh, flew for your approaches, cost per diem, uh, any remarks, any custom, uh, custom uh, columns that you have uh, from the options custom area in Logbook Pro. Desktop, and then if this flight is not yet flown, um, you're just preloading a future flight uh, based on your schedule, or whatever you want to put in, you can go ahead and mark it as a pending flight and tap save. And anytime there's a pending flight, you, do not, you don't have to have all the min required fields entered either. Uh, so this will bypass the uh, validation system. But pending flight will mark it as red. And then when you go to fly it, you uh, update your times and then uh, clear to pending flight, tap save. And as mentioned earlier in this video, bypass calendar and synchronized are available for this log entry as well. For those that are using the schedule importer, uh, there are some internal fields. In other words, there's data that's captured from imported flights. 
uh, from the schedule importer system that uh, you may want to reference as well. So let's go ahead and save that. And there we have our, our entry. You can see the flight date, the type, the tail, the duration, the uh, flight route, and then their landings. We have one day and one night landing, and then our out and in times in this case. So you got a nice handy uh, presentation of, of your uh, flights that are on the device. And now we can go back. The sync screen is red, meaning or the sync button on the home screen is red, meaning I have data that is pending sync. So let's go ahead and sync that to the cloud, and we are done. So you can see uh, data entry in Logbook Pro Mobile is very simple, very straightforward. Um, just add your information. It's going to use all the automation uh, techniques from Logbook Pro Desktop for uh, quick data entry, recalling prior information. And then within two seconds, you're synced to the cloud. Fire up Logbook Pro Desktop, sync that in, and you are done. You don't have to spend your time uh, uh, tinkering in a logbook. Hopefully you enjoy this video, and thank you for watching.